So the latest weekend of Women's Super League action kicks off with the form five. And they're closing in on their best finish since they took the title themselves ten years ago. On both sides, Gemma Bonner is back in the middle of the back three for Neve Fahey. She was a cup winner with City before becoming a league winner with Liverpool. It's Greenwood, the rock at the back for City, and that position very much in the news at the moment. Only one change from Gareth Taylor. There are rarely many more than that, if any. La Alexandri, who was in... <laughs> well, Manchester City's incentive could not be any greater. Win this game and go three clear for now, definitely at the top of the table. They will then have four to play in Chelsea five. And Liverpool here trying to cause the upset that would cheer Chelsea so, and in doing so, good signing. Tons to aim at at that far post. Great delivery, and it was going right. And rightly so. Liverpool have only been shut out three times. One of them last week. Here's Coivisto. And again, neatly done by the Finn. Nagano. Herbinger with the wrong boot and a bit of a slice. Forward ball back in, good lay off. Roman Howe, they're asking for an offside here. Manchester City, their requests are answered. It's a great take from Hasegawa. Superb. All started by City's midfield glue. Foul up one on one with Parry for the first time. Park. Good hit, big deflection. That made the law stop good, but it's still there for Hep. He's buried it. First good move of the game. And it results in advantage Manchester City. Lauren Hemp dealt with that pressure so well. The pass was excellent. Ditto from Buddy Short. Manchester City are top of the league. Could have gone anywhere via that deflection off Gemma Bonner. Rachel Laws will feel that fortune has not smiled upon her there. Very calmly tucked away by Lauren Hemp. The ninth goal of this WSL season. Match. It is Arsenal. Here is La Alexandre into Coombs. A little bit slicker now from Manchester City, isn't it? Here's Kasper Wright, followed all the way by Leanne Kiernan. Kasper Wright for Fowler, who will get there. Another near post delivery, cleared to Coombs. Seven goals and six goals in their two meetings so far this term. One potentially crucial one here. Here's Fowler. It's a good layoff. And Park skipping round the challenges and firing in for 2 0. What a time it is to be Jess Park. Maybe the best young player in this division this season. He can't save those. Rachel Laws hasn't had a hope with either. Close for some and open for others. Jill Rord brought in by Manchester City for this season. 
essentially to play in that position and was doing so until a back knee injury as Bunny Shaw goodness me roofs it for 3-0 Title nerves, Manchester City, not a bit of it. Wow. Seven and a half minutes. From nil-nil to three-nil. And that is five goals in three and a bit games against Liverpool for Bunny Shaw. To be fair, she likes playing against just about anyone. Now Herbert got... She's gone for something equally spectacular, but that is a scuffer. Well, they'll be shell-shocked. Because they spent 15 minutes. Tends to keep pretty calm on the touchline. No flag this time, Leanne Kernan. No. Inside a goal for Liverpool. And it falls to Leanne Kiernan, who was onside. That's an excellent decision first up. Could have done with it a little bit more in front, but even so, it's still a decent up. Hemp. Skipping away from the challenges. I even knew he has a go, he's having a go. That is not her game. Well, that did take a touch. All smiles. Good ball in. Kennedy got up. Says much for Gareth Taylor and indeed for her. Look at this for a driving run, it's Park again, Hemp wants it, Hemp gets it, now Shaw's on the far stick, it's not going to reach her. Away by Clark, great run to that loose ball, reacting quicker than anyone. What a wonderful challenge from Gemma Bonner, because Bonnie Shaw was about to release then. How Keating's coming, Keating is arriving first, and that's a clever pass. Well, Alexandri just going a little conservative as Fowler crosses. Now, Laws came for that, but Bonner headed it anyway. And Hemp is aware, hence the lob. Your potential of Manchester City on the counter. And if you're Manchester City, well, goldish. Lucy Parry making way for the returning. Taylor Hines. And Taylor Hines is an out and out left back here and challenging. Hasegawa. But I Fowler. Lovely way to pass from Mary Fowler. And well defended. Taylor Hines with her. Fowler on duty so far in this game from this wing. And that's a great delivery. Bunny Shaw's got another one. Just like last week, right at the start of the second half. To make a commanding lead impenetrable. Four times six. That right, this is some statement. Liverpool nil, Manchester City four. It's going to be a long second half this for Liverpool. She's in above both Fisk and Hines. WSL, that was her tally last term, and she was second to Aston Villa's Rachel Daly. Still got four games to go after this. It's clear now of Lauren James. One further clear of Brighton's Lisbeth Turland. Lawley. Nothing wrong with that ball in. Bit of a slice from Missy Bokerns.
The only player to have started every one of Manchester City's league matches this season, Yui Hasegawa. Part of that midfield rebuild after the mass exodus. Here's Lawley. I do wonder now if it's about keeping it respectable for Liverpool. That's a good ball. Kiernan has Coivisto coming up from right back now. Followed out there by the uh, Dela Alexandri. Good play, shame about the cross. Still no official update on her future. Clearly such an important player. Oh, this is too easy. Park to short. Looked like she just about stayed onside. Kasper I taking over. But crowded. And what a season it's been. It's Fuka Nagano. Finds a, a rare shot. Fourth, but sixth last year having come back up. It's all been good. And that's a poor finish. It would have been a wonderful. Made by the hard work of Bunny Short. You're tempted to say they could take the goal difference factor out of the equation with Chelsea and just make it about points. Here's Kasparai. Hines is with her. And Kasparai still got it. Shaw makes that hers as she looks for the hat trick. And Missy Bokerns clears. Good header clear from Jenna Clark. Now the counter on for Mia Enderby. Has Lawley with her. Enderby past Stokes. And on time the strike. Hasegawa smart positioning there. There wasn't really a point until May. Next to Alex Greenwood, Jenna Clark, look out, this is Shaw, no hat trick, flags up. Looked it at first sight. Well, she's got defending to do here, Enderby in behind her. It wasn't really a cross on, even though the angle was tough, I think that's fair enough to have the shot. She certainly got hold. First time today you find yourself thinking it's a pretty routine stop for Kiara Keating. It's been a, an impressive regeneration because that is a, an awesome trio to lose. Taylor Hines just keeps on going and scores a stunning goal for the second time this season against Manchester City. Same top corner that Buddy Shaw for goal. It's not going to count for any points, but even so. It's even further out. Well, Keating's had something to do now, all right. She's had to pick the ball out of her net. Just wonder if it came back off her having hit the woodwork. I think it might have done, you know. Sheet again, that's six in a row for Manchester City and one off the goal difference. I suspect Emma Hayes might have been a little... Away at Tottenham with a date to be confirmed. Picture somewhat complicated by their continued presence in the Champions League, which I suppose is a good thing for Gareth Taylor and Manchester City. They want Chelsea as occupied as possible in that sense, I suppose. Here's Chloe Kelly. Three minutes of stoppage time to go. Shaw. Trying to flip it on one more to Hemp. Kelly. Well, somehow found a gap where they looked like there wasn't one. Blasting it through, Grace. 